Welcome to our lecture online. So, our neighborhood doesn't appear to be all that dense. We calculated in the previous video where we are, where our sun is, there's about 0 0.007 stars per one cubic light year. Or, if we turn that around, we, we have 141 cubic light years of space for every star in our neighborhood. And if we then keep in mind that on any given night when it's clear and you're somewhere where there's no city lights, you're out in the forest or you're out in the desert and you look up, you can see 3,000 stars total. And of course, realizing that there's another person on the other side of the earth, I can see the other 3,000 stars. There's a total of 6,000 stars visible to the naked eye from the earth. And because we're not in a neighborhood in the galaxy where it's not particularly dense. But what would happen if we go to the very center of the galaxy? Now, of course, we don't, we don't have a very good idea how dense the stars are in the galactic bulge, but we can take a look at one of our neighbors, the Andromeda galaxy, and you can tell by looking at the core, by the, the bulge of the Andromeda galaxy, that the stars are extremely dense there. With the amount of light coming from there and the average size of the star, we can really determine what the density of stars are in the Andromeda galaxy. M31. And so it turns out the density there is 100,000 stars per one cubic light year. Compare that to 0 0.007 stars per cubic light year, 100,000 stars is essentially 10 million times as dense. In other words, if you were on a planet around one of the stars at the center of the Andromeda galaxy, you could see 10 million more stars, well, 10 million times, let's say, 3,000. That would be 30 billion stars that you could see from the surface of the planet around the star near the galactic center. And we can then surmise that it wouldn't be all that different if you're at the center of our Milky Way galaxy. Imagine being able to see 30 billion stars at night. Well, nighttime wouldn't be the same. Nighttime would be as bright as the daytime here. And so you can see that if you live in a planet like that, there would be no such thing as nighttime. You'd have 24 hours a day, well, depending upon how long the day would be on that planet, but there would not be such a thing as nighttime. There would simply be so many stars that are that close to us that, well, it would look like daytime during the night. It would be a very different experience. But that would preclude for life, to be honest. It's not, you see the light and not the warmth. So would that preclude from life uh, beyond those planets? No, you're absolutely correct that life could exist on those planets, that life would simply have to adapt to no nighttime. So I don't know when they would sleep. Well, just close your eyelids. <laughs> just close your eyelids? <laughs> yeah, I don't think there would be too much of a problem with that. So there would be no warmth but light? The stars would be too far away to give any significant amount of warmth, that's correct. You would have to be within so many astronomical units of a star, which is still far, far less than a fraction of a significant fraction of a light year. So yes, you would think that you don't get a lot of uh, warmth from the other stars, but definitely light. But not enough, enough for plants to grow? You know, actually come to think of it, if there's six billion stars within visible range from you, that would mean there's quite a few stars that wouldn't be all that far away. I, I'm not sure if the accumulated warmth from those stars could actually warm up the planet significantly. Actually, that would be kind of an interesting calculation. <laughs> no, I'm not going to calculate. <laughs> no, that's something I need to sit down for a while and calculate it out. But yeah, that would be something interesting. I would think so. I think it would be enough light for plants, enough light for animals, enough light. Yeah, it would be, it would be quite an experience to be in a planet with that many stars around you. You can't find any other planets. <laughs> well, we cannot find any planets, and especially at the center of the galaxy, there's no, I mean, no way. If you live there, you won't be able to see. And if you live in a planet like that, yes, good luck trying to see anything else. All you would see around you is just stars everywhere, stars everywhere, day or night. Can you see any black parts of the sky at night? Could you see any black parts of the sky with six billion stars? I doubt it. <laughs> that would be quite an experience.